All right, good morning. We're gonna do a special special live AM icebreaker. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of shoot from the hip today because I've got stuff I got to run off to, and so it's really weird. Like when I when I come down to uh, California to work, I don't my morning schedule is off a little bit, so I don't get to the office quite as early, and I spend a little more time in commute as you can probably imagine. So, <clears throat> um, so I I didn't really have a topic for today, and then thank you Facebook popped up one of my memories that kind of really sort of jived with what I'm doing this week. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm speaking at the Game Developers Conference this week, and um, I'm going to start out by reading this quote uh, by Tate Fletcher, and uh, Tate's one of, another one of my favorite podcasts, and uh, another guy that I I find very inspirational, and I hope all you guys do if you don't know him. Uh, listen to his podcast. Like I said, I'll link it below. But the quote is, listen, I know it's tough. The weight can feel too heavy to move. It's hard to muster the drive for yourself. But you're the shit. Know that. Show that. Walk with some pride and swag, regardless of how you feel. Do your deadlifts. Practice your chokes and sweeps. Do your makeup. Write that blog. Make your bed or do that live video. Force a smile. Quiet your mind. Whatever electrifies your greatness. Whatever electrifies your greatness, you guys. To reach the highest standard of yourself you can muster. Or what do we say all the time? Be the best version of yourself. <clears throat> because you got to know there's a little dude or dude out there looking, learning, watching how it's done. And God damn it, they need you to strive. Walk like you've taken that responsibility. Don't drop the torch. You're the only light they've got. And we need you to win. Thank you. And that's that's from Brother Tate. Now, it, it's funny because there's, uh, you know, if you're if you're like me and you listen to a bunch of different places and get your media from different, different places, you probably you probably are familiar with the concept that maybe we're in this sort of odd wave of postmodernism right now, and uh, and, and I really like that quote because it kind of smacks against all that. It kind of says, no, 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 you're not you're not here just for yourself. You know, you're not. It, it does matter that other people are watching you. You know, you don't. You, you know. Don't don't take the coward's way out and just say, well, I just do it for myself, and you know, I don't, I don't care what anybody thinks about me. What, that, that, I don't know about you guys. That's a, I, I don't I don't like to live that way. I don't I don't agree with that 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 idea that that you know you should oh, just 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 worry about yourself. Don't don't worry about what anybody else. I mean, if that were the case, like, geez, we'd all be we you know, would have jobs. We'd all be fired. You know, we we all just go into our job and say, oh, I'm just going to do it for myself and, and forget what my boss says. I don't care what my boss thinks about me. So. <clears throat> And, and, you know, and like I said, if you're a parent, I mean, of, of course it matters what, I mean, it matters what your kids think about you and nothing else, right? So, and um, so, so, so I, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, this is something that Pete Peterson says all the time too, you know, he says, um, he, he says, do, do, do what it takes to take your place in the world because otherwise the world is poorer for you not doing that, you know, and something that uh, I, I don't listen to this guy much anymore, but uh, Brandon Schaub said, you know, he said something that was also very polarizing. He said, you know, when you know, do what you need to do to get where you where you're supposed to be, and when you get there, act like you deserve to be there. So, I, I don't know. That's heavy stuff, and I'm, and I'm putting all this on. And I know that's a lot to put on people, but you know, I'm thinking about it because, like I said, I'm going to the Game Developers Conference this year, and I remember, I think I went to my first GDC 12 or 11 years ago, and. I remember seeing all these folks and you know, all these people who had who had taken that step, who had said, "No, no, no! I'm going to take this. Up. I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to, I'm going to subject myself to the slings and arrows to get this information out to be able to share this knowledge with people." And it's the same, you know, when I go to you know, all these fitness industry events, and and the fitness industry is brutal. My God, the fitness industry, like I don't know, some of the threads that I've, I've seen where people are just just talking smack about others, you know, other people's is. Um, training, you know, training paradigms is, is, is brutal. So for these people to say, okay, well, I'm, I don't care. I'm going to, I'm going to get out there, you know, like, um, you know, like say props out, you know, you know, props to, to my buddy Aaron, like coach Aaron guy at battle rope education. I mean, I saw uh, a thread where people were just talking straight shit about the idea of battle rope education. I was actually kind of disgusted, but you know what? He keeps plugging. He just, he, he just keeps, he, you know, he was doing it because he knows there are people out there that want him to do what he does. And funny because I've been having, you know, flip side is I've been having this this conversation with a buddy of mine, uh, my buddy Gordon Chen, who, um, it's a funny story, maybe I'll tell that one these days, about of how we kind of sort of started rolling together, but he's, he's a great jiu-jitsu teacher, even though he's not teaching right now, and um, I said something like, like the same too, like the world needs more great teachers, and, you know, if, if you're one of those people out there that has something to offer or, you know, get get out there and, and, and start offering it, you know, the world needs you to do it, and if you're one of those people who hasn't figured that out yet, look, I'm sorry, dude, I, I don't believe that that your gift is to stay home and play video games unless, like I said, unless you're like one of these awesome streamers who's doing cool stuff. And it's funny, the more I watch video game streamers, the more I kind of realize what a, what a, what a fun thing it is. And I'm glad that people are out there doing it. So I, I guess that's that you guys I actually have a meeting I have to jump into. So I'm going to, I'm going to ditch, but, but yeah, you know, find your place. The world needs you. I mean, I, I want to see what you guys are doing. I mean, I, I love it when my friends succeed. 
So I, I want to see what you got. I want to see what, what you guys can do. So that's it for me. Cheers.